Welcome everyone. In this Gibbscam video, we're going to go over what is a post processor, what is a MDD, and what is a VMM, and how to get all those files into the correct folders in your Gibbscam software. We have many people getting post processors, and a lot of them are wondering where should I put it, how do I use it, and how do I get all the files correctly. So this is what we're going to show you today. Of course, probably the first question is, what is a post processor? Well, once the operations to machine the part have been created, the file needs to be post processed. Post processing converts a part file, normally a VNC file, which contains the machining operations or toolpaths into a text file, that's usually the NC program, which can be transferred to the machine control or the CNC. Post processors specific to individual machine controls are used to convert the VNC file into a text file. So normally a post processor will have the extension of .pst. Those are kind of the older ones and those still work for version 2023. But most of them now have the extension of .post. So that'll be a newer post. The next question we usually get is what is an MDD? And what an MDD is, it stands for a Machine Definition Document, or MDD, which controls many things in the software, including the number of, position of, and display of spindles, the availability of turrets, the number of tool positions in a turret, drill cycles, and coolants available. Because MDDs for multitask machining parts are machine-specific, and the programming of a part is also depending on a particular machine's capabilities, a copy of the MDD data is stored with the part file. If the part file is moved to another computer and the MDD associated with it, the part is not stored on that computer, the system will automatically generate the required MDD. MDDs are kept in a folder labeled MDD in the application folder. And of course, we'll show you where all these are once we install all those. The next question we usually get asked is what is the VMM? Well, the VMM is Virtual Motion Macros, or VMM. The VMM is a file that provides a link between the MDD and the post processor to implement custom utility operations. A machine-specific MDD references the mating VMM for MTM machines. MTM machines, of course, are multitask machines. Anything usually with a subspindle, multiple turrets, uh, and multiple spindles. So here is a typical pulse processor you usually get from your Gibbscam reseller. And normally these are zip files. And the reason they're zip files is because they have a number of other folders inside there. So the first thing we want to do in order to get everything correct is I'm going to right click on the post processor, go to my extract all, and we'll put it in the same folder. Now you can of course put the, let me bring this over here. So normally you put the post processor somewhere on your PC where it won't get lost. You can create a folder called post processors, or you can create a folder with all your machine names and include that post processor in that machine. You do not want to put the post processor in with your Gibbscam uh, software where that's located because if you update to the next version and you delete the old version and delete the folders, then your post processor will be gone as well. So there is no rule on a specific spot to put your post processor. So find a good location for your post and put it there. So here's my folder that I have extracted from the zip file. So let's just open up that folder and you can see I have five different folders for this particular Swiss post processor. So in order to get the post and all the MDD and the VMM and everything else in the correct spot, the easiest thing to do, let me close this, is you just open a blank screen in Gibbs, no part open, just a blank screen and you take the zip file, not the, not the ones with the folders, but the zip file and just drag it on top of the screen anywhere and let go. And it's going to bring up this folder here. It might be shorter than mine. It depends on the post. But all you need to do is click OK. Now it's going to put it in all the correct folders 
where the MDD, VMM, and everything else needs to go. Now normally I will close Gibbs and reopen it again just to make sure everything's in the correct spot, so we'll do that. So now I have restarted my Gibbs Cam software and all the files should be in the correct spots now, so let's just see where they are. So first of all, I'm going to go to File and New. I'm going to start a new part. We'll just leave it untitled. And now that I have a new MDD and VMM, if I go to my document control, I, I can choose that machine. In this case, it's a Sagami B02053. And uh, you can see it'll be in the drop down list of whatever machines you have available. But that should be in your list now. So this is what you want to choose. And when you do that, the bottom half of this will change depending on the machine. So here you can see this particular machine has a main and sub spindle. You can see all the different tool locations, front, rear, drilling, back. You have a lot of different choices there on uh, that, and that comes from the MDD and VMM, of course. And so if I look at a few things, for instance, the tools, if we open up our toolbar and create a, for instance, a drill, you can see I can choose the t two gru tool group one, tool group two, three, four, and five for turning, turning, back, turning, and of course you would tell which direction uh, it's pointing uh, when you refer to those, depending on how the MDD is, as you can see here. Also, you can see I have the main spindle and subspindle, and we'll have coordinate systems for both of those. Default six coordinate systems, so you have the front, ZX plane, so that's mainly for turning, ZX plane for subspindle, turning, and you have an XY plane and YZ plane for both of them. Um, and of course, you can create as many as you like, but these are the default six coordinate systems there. So that's what the MDD, VMM, and the post will do. Now to know the, to find the locations of those, there's a couple ways to do it. So if you want to find the folder where the MDD and VMMs are, the easiest way is just to go to Plugins and down to Pathfinder. This window will open up here, and let's expand that a little bit, which we can't here. Um, and there's VMM folder, MDD folder, that's just the standard one. But the one you want to look for is all users MDD and VMM. So if we go to, go to the all users MDD folder and you click open folders, there's the folder where all the MDDs are in for my machine. And you can see the path right here. You can follow that if you want to go to Windows Explorer and look there. But that's where they are. So you can find them here. As you can see, here's my MDD in the correct folder. Now if I said I want to look for the VMM folder, click here, click open folders, and you will see there's the post processor that I just put in there, or the VMM actually, uh, and you have uh, actually two of them right here. They have the same name. Normally I will delete this one because this is for a 32-bit operating system, which Gibbs usually sends you both in case you're running an old PC, but most PCs now are 64 bits, so that's why the X64. So normally I would take this one and delete it, otherwise sometimes you might get an alarm pop up saying it can't find the VMM, and that's probably because that's you that you have the 32 bit in there. So you can always take that one out. Just make sure the 64 bit one is in your computer if that's the uh, machine, your PC is that if that's what you're running. There's some other ones here as well, like on this uh, Sagami, it has a custom drill cycle folder. So if we click open folder, you'll see there's the custom Sagami drilling uh, and tapping folder for this particular machine. So you might have a few others if you want to know where the cut data folder is. Same thing as well, you can find that there as your cut data. And just a note, if you're customizing the cut data folder, I would also keep a copy of that uh, somewhere on your PC so when you load a new version of Gibbs, you don't lose all the information that you've created if you've modified the cut data folder. That way you can uh, just tell Gibbs to point to that folder and it'll use all your feeds and speeds that you have played with and changed and modified. So other than that, that's uh, the easiest way to get your post processor working. And uh, thank you for watching.